Okay, IED, we're going to try to finish the pin slider to the carabiner pin assembly. And we made a little bit of progress last time where we kind of etched this key shape out on the top and we uh, notched two pieces out on the side. There's a couple of more features that we need to do in order to try to finish this up. The last video was getting a little bit long, so we're going to try to finish this one up uh, now. So uh, I think the next thing that we want to do is there is a cylinder at the front that we're going to go ahead and put in. So I'm going to hit the sketch button and I'm going to go to the front and I'm going to create a circle on the front of the object like so. So I'm going to click the circle tool and I'm going to make sure that I'm in the middle by going to this uh, little spot down on the bottom. I'm going to drag my way up and I think we're only going to go up about um, 0.68 plus 0.25. So we may have to put in like a little uh, uh, dimension for that. So I'm going to click the circle. And the diameter of the circle is 0.05. I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to add a dimension from here to here. And I'm going to make that dimension to be uh, 0.068 plus half of this diameter, 0.025. And that should get us about where we need to go uh, for this insert I'm going to click the green check mark and we're going to extrude onto the side here. So I'm going to click extrude. I'm going to click on the circle and we're going to extrude out a specific distance. One is obviously way too far. So we're going to go a, um, hmm, let's see here. It looks like I didn't actually uh, write that one down either. See, I told you I left dimensions out on this thing. So let's take a set of calipers real quick. And I want to say it's like 0.125 or something like that. Let's see. Uh, point 0.175 for mine. So we're going to make this 0.175 and then I'm going to hit enter. There we go. So we've got a little insert that kind of goes out there. Uh, and if you want to chamfer it down a little bit or if you want to add a draft, you're more than welcome to because uh, it does kind of shrink down over at the end. I'll just add a small uh, two degree draft this time. Kind of make it look like it's uh, kind of smoothing out down there. All right, and I'm looking at the dimension sheet, and it looks like we're also going to need to add a feature to where uh, these become like pyramids. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top, and we're going to create a sketch on this front surface, and we're going to make a set of triangles. So I'm going to go triangle uh, starting at the middle, and we're going to work our way across. Now let's see here. I'm not quite sure. I can't get to the... Uh, hmm. All right, so we're just going to have to input those dimensions, it looks like. So I know that going up that far is 0 0.05. So 0 0.05, and I'm going to go over to the corner. And now it'll project the geometry. Now it snaps into place. So make sure to make a triangle that goes this way, and then also make a triangle that goes this way. I was just using that first click as a reference, you don't need it anymore after you make it, so I'm going to go ahead and just trim it. We don't need it. These two triangle surfaces, uh, I'm going to take those two, and it looks like I, this might not work the first time, because I see this triangle right over here, but when I click on this one, I don't see a triangle, which means that it might not extrude correctly, so I might have to come back in here and fix that sketch. Let's find out. So, yeah, see, look here, this top part, this top part didn't actually make a line, so I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to edit it. It's probably just an oversight on my part. Go back into Sketch 5, right-click Edit, and I'm going to use the Line tool to connect these two pieces to each other. I'm going to finish with the green check mark. Now I should be able to cut, and it should cut both away. This is like doing both problems at the same time, so I'm going to hit uh, Remove, and I'm going to remove both of these triangles on this side and this side. And let's see here, it says something about merge scopes. So um, let's see here, the scope is going to be the actual object. There we go. So if it gives you a little bit of a trouble, uh, click on the merge scope and click on the actual object itself. And then I'm going to hit the green check mark. And both of these got cut away. And I think that is a really good thing that leaves us with just a couple of more features to do. Um, there are two chamfers that need to go on the back over here. These two chamfers will, I think, be uh, 0.05 in length, but I'm getting ready to find out. We're going to click chamfer, and we're going to click on this side, and that's way too big, so let's do 0.05.
yeah. So we're gonna do 0 0.05 and then click on the other corner as well too, and that'll chamfer that edge. And there's one last thing to do. There's a circle down at the bottom, and we're gonna put in that circle right now. So flip over to the bottom of your uh, slider, and then we're going to start our circle. Uh, it looks like just a little bit further out. So we're gonna look at a distance, and we can take our calipers and measure that distance from the center of the circle. It looks like it's about uh, 0.175. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to go uh, sketch on the bottom and I'm going to make a circle starting in the middle so I can kind of lock it into place. And I know that the diameter of the circle is uh, 0.115 or the radius is 0.115. So I'm going to type in 0.115 times 2 that gives me 0.28 for the side. That makes sense because it has to go the whole way. Um, let's see here. And from there, what we're going to do is I'm going to put in a dimension. So I'm going to click dimension from the center of the circle to the end over here. And that's going to be uh, 0.175. I was pretty close whenever I got there. And I'm going to click the green check mark. All right, now what we're gonna do to make a, a quarter circle is you could use the revolve tool if you wanted to, uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a cylinder. And if I make the cylinder have the same uh, radius value, if the fillet radius is the same as the radius of the cylinder, then we're good to go. So I'm gonna make this radius uh, 0.115. So that's 0.115 times, uh, let's see here. I think it's just 0 0.115, so I'm gonna hit enter. Let's try that, yeah, let's try that. So I'm gonna click the green check mark and then I'm gonna make a fillet and I'm gonna say that the radius of this fillet is gonna be 0.115. And whenever you type it in, it's gonna fill it all the way around that cylinder and it's gonna make a uh, half of a sphere. So that looks like, I think we've got everything for our slider now. I think this is everything that we need. I'm gonna look at the side view, uh, it looks reasonable going to look at the front view. Um, looks good. So last thing we're going to do is just kind of give it one of the colors from the pen. So it's either like a red or an orange or a green. So we're going to edit appearance. I'm going to give it like a green color. And I'm going to click the green check mark and we're good. We have our slider and it's complete. Hope this was helpful. Y'all have a great day and we'll talk later.